doing is I'm gonna be getting some new spark plugs in my Jeep. Uh, right now I have 140,000 kilometers, uh, 100, well, 140,500 almost uh, kilometers on my Jeep. And uh, we just, I just gotta get some fuel here. I got, well, I got, I have an auxiliary tank like you probably know if you've seen my other videos, but I'll attach that video. Um, anyway, gotta fill up. I always try to keep uh, my auxiliary tank full. Um, there, well, I fill both up. I go through my factory tank. I'll dump everything in my auxiliary tank into the factory tank, then I'll get fuel. I always try to transfer the fuel out of it. But anyway, spark plugs today. Um, I just, uh, I'm just at Costco right here right now. And as you can see, but a uh, bit of a line up here today. But uh, what we're gonna be doing is just getting some fuel and then I'm gonna be going over to my, uh, my buddy's place here. We're gonna rip this thing apart and get some new spark plugs in it. And then, uh, I don't know, hopefully, uh, I get a little bit of a stumble when I put it into reverse. Um, just a little bit of hesitation. Maybe it'll clean that up. Other than that, the Jeep runs really good. Uh, Chrysler does suggest that you change the plugs at 160,000 K. I'm 140. Yeah, I can't see there being any harm in doing it now. And then I'll probably do it again at uh, 200,000 K. So, um, yeah. So uh, I hope you just enjoyed this video today. And, uh, Thanks for coming along with the ride. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, so what I did first, I cleaned my throttle body. It wasn't that really that dirty for the amount of kilometers I have on it. I got 140,000 K on it. And uh, anyway, yeah, she cleaned up nice. She's looking nice and crispy spark in there. Probably could clean it a little bit better, but uh, it's, it's it really wasn't that bad. But anyway, uh, we've got to start taking everything apart. You can see I got my uh, my airbox off. Uh, we have to take all of our MAF sensors off and everything here. Because um, we do have to take this baby off. She's a little warm still. Um, and then this bracket that's back here. Back where my finger is, there's a couple of bolts there. We do have to take that out as well. Um... This bracket that's down here, I know we got to take that off. And we got to take our hoses off here, disconnect it off there. Yeah, and it's a matter of getting that out, and we'll kind of go from there. So. I swapped out the regular headlight for an LED bulb. Nice. Work out well? Yeah. I'll put a few other uh, LEDs in there for them. Okay, so the um, this side of the spark plugs where Dwayne is digging down in there now, uh, right down in there, that's where we got to take the bolts off the uh, top of the uh, um, dub dub things. <laughs> anyway, so there's three bolts down in there. I've got a dual battery system, so it is going to be a little bit tighter with this, but uh, we'll get her done anyway. And we're probably going to just change these spark plugs on this side first, and then take that plenum off to get the other side, just because it's still a little warm. Engine's still a little bit warm all over the place, but anyway, we're going to do this now, and we'll show you what we've done. But uh, we took the bracket right there. We took that bracket off, so that's loose. Uh, we got the bracket back here that's loose. We got to get the lower bolts off that. They're down there. Um, they're on the side, just over top of the uh, well, the in or the outtake or the uh, manifold. Um, anyway, so there's my PCV valve. Um, anyway, it goes on here. I'm probably gonna put, be putting a catch can on this thing, uh, just because the hose that goes into this. Um, well, everybody knows the comes from the back end of the engine and dumps into the throttle body and that's where you get some of your nasty uh, nasty stuffs going into the intake okay so we got everything out here uh, we are getting into our first spark plug we're gonna see what it is uh, we did check actually we called Chrysler just to make sure on our uh, gap for our new spark plugs they are 43 thou 
So that's where they have to be. Uh, but anyway, we'll get these out and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here we go. So here's three that we've taken out already. I checked the gap. One is way out to lunch, like this one here. That one you could throw a, a loony or a toonie through it. But uh, anyway, um, 40 thou is what they're supposed to be, but here's the difference. 43. 43, sorry, 43 thou is what they're supposed to be. And then there's your uh, difference. I mean, the, the park plugs are good and dry. The only one, this one had a little bit of oil on it. But I mean, other than that, they're actually not too bad, uh, other than the, the gap being out so far. So we now have got the spark plugs in. Uh, we've got everything tightened down in here. Uh, so we have three of the spark plugs done. To get to the other three, we do have to take this off, and they're right underneath all of this on this side here. Okay, so you will have to take out your wheel liner, um, unless you can do it from the top, but I couldn't, couldn't reach it. But anyway, this, there's a bolt that goes right in here for this bracket, and then there's another bolt over on this side over here that we have to get out to loosen this bracket here. Okay, so there is this bracket right here that we do need to get off. And then now that we have that off, our intake will come off. And uh, throttle body bracket. Yeah, it's right on the throttle. It's a throttle body bracket is what it is. But there's two bolts down here. And then there's two nuts on this top here. So you gotta take those out to get this off. There we go. So the thing that we ran into that was hard was this vacuum line here. This has to come off so you can get the plenum off. And uh, yeah, it was fun. But anyway, we're gonna just uh, replace our gaskets here and everything. And get you to take a good look at this. Ah, there we go. So there she is. Looks like we got a... So this guy will come off. Yeah, this guy comes right off. Yeah, and there's our, there's our other spark plugs. You see how easy this is going to be on this side. After we get the whole thing out. <laughs> Here we just, uh, as you can see there, we're just replacing the gaskets in that respect. Got some little pig towel stuff down in the cylinders there, but anyway, um, on the top of the intake. But this is the new gasket here, and these are the ones that I've taken out. So you can see um, they're a little oily, but it's expected in that respect because they are a seal. But uh, as you can see, they still look, I mean, they're not brittle or anything in that respect, but just talking with my, uh, my guy at Chrysler, uh, he did say to... You know, you order the spark plugs, you get the you get the gaskets here as well. So anyway, we're just gonna get that last one in, and then we will tackle our spark plugs, which are right there. We'll get all those in, and then uh, we'll be home free. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting all this stuff back together. <laughs> ah, it'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> he said. <laughs> said no one ever. Said no one ever. But anyway. Uh, Okay, so we did do all of our uh, spark plugs. They are all done. Uh, we just got our plenum back on. We're just getting our hoses all together and put back in place. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so anyway, we're just getting this side, getting our connections all done up here now. And we'll be done. Well, she is together. Um... Uh, we got everything together, our bracket here, our bracket here, bracket on the other side, uh, our vacuum hose, we got that connected again, um, PCV valve line, which I'm going to be changing. I didn't get to change the PCV, PCV valve just because of location and it's really hard to get. Uh, I will show you where it is. It is... Well, actually, if uh, see with that greasy, <laughs> it is right here, just where my finger is touching it, right there. That's where it is, and it. Uh, I'm going to be putting a catch can on this thing, um, so it's going to be 
the hose that comes off of there and then it ends up right here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I might uh, put it down in here, attach it somewhere down there. And, uh, but I mean, she's all put together and uh, we're going to start, uh, we're going to start it. We've not started it yet, so let's give her a shot here and see what happens. Keys in. There we go. And there we go. So it is definitely running a little bit smooth. Well, actually, a lot smoother. Sounds good. It sounds really good as well. So uh, just to make sure you don't have any vacuum leaks. Um, you know, just make sure your brake booster's got, uh, when you push a pedal and things of that sort. But I mean, other than that, make sure you have your air box hooked up. Uh, did we hook up our line oxygen sensor? We didn't do that. Oxygen sensor. No. Uh, can you get that one? But yeah, don't forget the oxygen sensor because it will throw a code for that. Well, that's it for our video today, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it'll help anybody else out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, any comments, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And uh, actually any uh, YouTubers, if you're under a thousand, subscriptions if you subscribe to me i will subscribe to you thanks again and have a great day